Hello, Gemini. Those of you with Gemini strongly in your natal charts, in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus positions. And for those of you that are curious about Gemini, welcome to the table. It's nice to have you here. All right, let's get right into it, Gemini, and see what's here for you for the next week. For the next week for Gemini. Um, in addition, I am doing uh, personal readings again, Capricorn. So if there's anything I can do to help you, uh, feel free to look uh, um, at the link in the video description box uh, uh, um, to get to the store. Gemini people for the next week. A whole bunch of energy coming out. Oh. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I usually don't, but I feel like I can handle it today. What else is here for Gemini? I know, Gemini, that I am feeling this kind of energy. That's why I'm okay taking that big group of cards. Uh, also, it fits the, the deck perfectly, this, the, the spread perfectly. I feel like it was supposed to be. All right. Three more, three more for, for the spread for today. Two more now. One, two. All right, my friends, let's see what's here. I'm excited about this. I can feel the energy. All right, you have judgment, judgment energy. Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sag. Uh, you have the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, type of behaviors and we have the king of pentacles let me get these straight here so the next cards i put in will be following we have the two of cups we have the ten of pentacles seven of pentacles we have the six of wands and the two of swords All right, Gemini, give me a second here to kind of collect myself. There's a lot of strong um, energy here, and I it feels very good, uh, Gemini. It feels very strong and good. Um, you're coming into this week, and you will be for a few days here in the Six of Wands. There's something that you're doing. You have the energy now for it. You have the strength for it, and I think, Gemini, that there's a solution here. There's been a big... Uh, there has been a big decision or a solution that's been here for you. Something that has, I would say, come out of the blue. Uh, you might not have expected it. It might not for you maybe um, wasn't part of the truth that you had or it wasn't part of the options that you had. But it feels like there's been some sort of occurrence, whether it was a decision or a great change in the, um, you know, it could it could be anything Gemini. Uh, it, there could be some sort of a, a law that has been repealed. There could be some sort of decision uh, that has been brought forward. There could just be a new energy around you. You could be healed from something, but it does feel like there's been something here for you, Gemini, that has helped you to overcome some sort of stalling or a, a delay or something that could have quite worried you there there is a solution here and we have you in this solution in this place of regeneration as you're coming into this week so i do feel like there's a new freedom here gemini a new freedom to move forward and to be your true self uh, we have the queen of wands here uh you're in the six of wands moving up the two of cups the ten of pentacles into the six of wands i think that you have the safety and the support that you need gemini to move forward now in a way that you know that you can in a way that you've been doing before in your life six of wands i just feel like this is something that you've been able to do before this is something that you've been able to enjoy before and for some reason uh it, there it, it's like you were slowed down or there was some sort of problem or challenge that was keeping you kind of tied tied to the ground i mean uh again i'm hearing like a pattern and a rhythm that was disrupted and i feel like 
um, there, there is a, there is the, the option now and there is the availability and the freedom now for you to do what you know that you can do best. Six of wands. You know that you have the strength. You know that you have the passion. You know that you have the commitment for this. Um, and you're moving forward in a really strong way. You're, you're much more confident now, Gemini. Uh, there is a partnership here. Now I feel like this partnership, um, has gone through, you know, its share of ups and downs. Um, I do think that there has been a change here, Gemini. I do think that there's been a change here. We have the two of cups over the top of judgment over the, uh, with the six of wands over the top of two of cups. So there's a team here that's working really well. It's working well because with the judgment energy comes in, you really have to kind of take a look at something that has been given to you or extended to you or determined by you. It has a greater kind of an energy around it. It, it. it has you scratching your head a little bit. That's what I feel with this judgment energy. It's something quite nice. It's something quite nice and it has you scratching your head just a little bit like how can this happen or how did I not think of this or why did I do that? I mean, it feels like there's uh, some some real beautiful uh, clarity here. And I think for some of you, some sort of gift or some sort of I'm stuck on this energy. I feel like it could be slightly a, a little bit of a miracle. And miracles have to be seen. Um, they, they really have to be identified. Sometimes they can slip by us without us realizing, especially if we're in a time of trouble. Um, those little blessings, those little miracles can slip by. I know I've been there. Um, but I think this time you're seeing it and you're saying, why, why didn't I see it? You know, the, it's like a five of cups, but it's with joy. It's not sadness. It's with like, with something that's very freeing, Gemini. Um, the 10 of pentacles is in this, in the middle of the spread. So I think that you're going to have the resources. You're going to have the money. You're going to have the support system to really help you move ahead, Gemini. I really do think that. And, um, you know, your strength here, you know, that you can do this. Uh, and I feel like you are, you are in a very strong place this week. The end of the week or the last half of the week, you're moving into the two of swords. Now the two of swords rides up over the 10 of pentacles and up over the seven of pentacles to this knight of swords. So there's something here that you're, uh, having to recognize something that you're realizing, something that's coming to be very clear to you, very, um, clear to you. There's something here that has to do with Something that is being said, something that's being said or something that was said could be about planning. Um, it, it's, I, I just feel like you're going to be working through some details of something in the last half of the week. And this could have to do with communication. I think it's really about strategy, like how you have this legacy, you have your security here. There's something here that's very strong that's helping you to move along right? There's something here that's very strong. That's really helping you to move along. Uh, how to make it through the long term that's still to be determined. There's a long term plan here that's really waiting to be culminated. Uh, there's a long term picture here that's waiting to be figured out. And I feel like there's some strategy going into the long term. I think you have the strength now and the, and the ability to look forward, Gemini, into the future. Now that something has kind of been clarified or been rectified or been fixed in this situation, you can kind of look forward now a little bit farther into the future. You're not so trapped by the, by the situation that's right here, right now, that's been solved. Now you can look farther into the future. And I think there's some planning, um, that you're going to be going into just some, something here at the end of the week that you're looking at the facts of the situation, um, realizing now that you can look farther down, farther into the future, farther down the path and realize like there's some work to be done, uh, for the long-term well-being. Now, I do think that you're able to do it. Like I, you're not shirking from this. This is sometimes the two of swords is like a, a refusal to see the situation or maybe your heart's not strong enough to see it. Maybe uh, you're too confused to really see your way through it, but I don't see it this way this time, Gemini. I think that you are strong enough. You have the queen of wands here. You've had this judgment energy. You have the strong partnership around you. You have the strength now to move forward and whatever it is that needs to be, strategized about or 
um, communicated about. The moon is here too, so there could be some emotions here that are being revealed or being talked about. Uh, I just think that you're in a strong place this week, Gemini. Um, you're able to look into the future. You're able to see um, how this might go be moving forward. And I think that there are some important discussions that are going to take place uh, about, and it could, these discussions could be about the support. It could be about the long-term plan. They could be about, okay, we have a solution for today and that's great. And I feel great about that. Uh, what are we going to do with this account as it moves forward? What are we going to do with our bank account? What are we going to do with the whole picture. There's, there is just a, an ability now to move forward and do some further envisioning, uh, because there's more work to do and that's fine. I don't think that's any problem at all. We have you stepping out of the week in the King of Pentacles. I mean, King of Pentacles looks into the future and he realizes like, yeah, like we, with this work and with this way that we've been making decisions and the way that we are coming together as a group, we can really see uh, where we can go into the future. Now, I like that there's this looking at the harvest, looking at the crop and saying, okay, what do we need to do now to make, to help uh, bring this into a more healthy place or a more a realized place like how do we make this come true in a in a bigger way how do we make this come true in a more substantial way as we move to, there's long-term planning here okay there's strategy and long-term planning here happening um in the end of the week and you have the strength to do it you have the strength to look into it because um some sort of opening has happened in the energy in the situation in the environment there's been an opening here gemini and you have the strength uh, to really move this forward now, a strong platform, a strong foundation is how I feel um, that you have, Gemini, for this group of people. You have the strength, you have the fortitude to really now step into this in a, in a really brilliant and a, um, very empowered way, Gemini. It's a strength. It, it's a week of strength, a week of knowing who you are, a week, a week of recognizing that now uh, new movements can be taken, new strategy can be, can be had because, um, you're just at this strong point now, Gemini, very strong place for you this week. And I love to see that. Love to see that. Let's dig down just a little bit further into some of these cards that we have here before we move into the extended. In the extended, we're going to move this through the, I don't know, second, third week of March. I've been saying four to six weeks out. Um, I, I am holding steady to that. Four to six weeks out is usually, where it runs, I think, for those extended. So let me look into this here. I want to go into this Two of Cups energy. How does the partnerships, how does the partner feel? I want to know how does the partner feel? This is about partnerships here. Whether it's in love, whether it's connected in a job, uh, connected in into like a humanitarian effort, connected as a parent, whatever it is, there, there are people here that are connecting together in a really supportive way. Um, let's look at the Two of Cups and see what the partners have to say. What do the partners have to say? Now, of course, this is a general energy, so um, hanged man. We're going to wait and see. The partners might be a little bit more slow to adopt. Gemini, you guys can move quite quickly when you know that it's the right time. And the Ten of Cups is out. Uh, the, the, the partners are moving just a little bit slower, I feel. Um, there's a little bit more growth there, possibly, with the hangman coming in. Uh, perhaps the partners... Uh, it takes a little bit longer for them to envision. It takes uh, perhaps the partners here like to experience it before they find confidence in it. Gemini, you're you're much more uh, able to adapt into the future. You're able to morph yourself into improvements or into uh, changes, but the partners here might move a little bit more slowly. Um, and I think you are also in the King of Pentacles energy, you also have the ability to be more slow and think in the long term. But I think the partners are a little bit more able to recognize that the first facts of the improvement are what's actually going to come in. When is the harvest going to come in? How is it actually going to feel? So the partners could be really waiting for the experience to start, waiting for the improvements to be here. And they're, they're recognizing that happiness is here, that togetherness is here, um, but they've really gone through their own learning process in this whole situation. 
I like that the Ten of Cups is here. And I like that the Hangman is here. It's a willingness to open up, up mindsets. It's a willingness to look at other perspectives. It just takes a little while. And we know the subconscious is slower. I mean, my experience is, as a person who has been working in the subconscious, um, I have come to understand that my subconscious is slower. And it is connected to and lots of different things. So, I, I mean... I have an animal brain just like you guys have. We're all mammals, right? We're all animals. We're all of the same kind of... Uh, so I don't know. Okay, look, I'm kind of swimming around in this kind of energy. It's a more contemplative, pensive kind of thinking. Uh, a lot more thinking goes into it. For for when the Queen of Wands... Gemini, when you're in the Queen of Wands energy and the Queen of Wands is strong in you, you're moving forward because you have the confidence in your beliefs. You have the confidence in, in what you can do. You have the confidence in yourself. That's a Queen of Wands. Like that, that, that being that's there... It, uh, that's of you, that you is, is very much ready and willing to step forward, having the confidence that it's going to work. The partners are a little bit more slow and they think a little bit more about it, go deeper about it perhaps than, than Gemini does. Um, but I like that energy and it's, it's very swimming. Uh, I'm going to pull those cards away now so I can disconnect from that. The different energy, Gemini, a different energy here, and it's not bad or good. It's just a different energy and it's plugging up my ears. Okay. Um, let's go into the Knight of Swords. Let's go into the Knight of Swords. Let's see what's being done or said here. Knight of Wands. I'm saying whatever this is, it's being done from the heart. It's being, it's coming out of within. Uh, it's, it's something that is very passionate. It's something that gives a lot of confidence. It could be something that you're doing quick, very quickly, Gemini. Like, you know, it's the right thing. Like, you know, it's the right thing. Um, how does it go into the future and how will it be next year and how will it be two years from now? I think it's going to be different. I think it's going to be different. But for right now, this is the solution. It happens quite quickly. It feels like the right thing. And um, you are strategizing about the future now because of that. Wow, King of Wands. It's fast. That's why the partners are like, what? What's going on? <laughs> What's happening here? I have to go away and think about this. This is something very quick. Judgment energy. Let's see if there's anything else with the Knight of Swords. Two cards coming out. Knight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Magician. Yeah. How, how are we going to create it moving forward into the future? Connecting it to the King of Swords. This, well, what do we need to do? How do we need to pull this together to make something work? I feel like the answer is here. It's not here for the long term. It's for the short term. But it's a solution. It's a solution and it has you moving forward. Let's look at the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Coming up with a system. Coming up with a regular plan. Um, there's a sense of relief here. And now knowing with more certainty of where it's going, right? Knowing with more certainty of where it's going and how it's headed forward um, can help you now to plan the next phase. It's it's about uh, stair-stepping your way through a situation, stair-stepping it. Um, yeah, it's how I'm feeling. You're do, doing this in phases right now. Whatever this is, it's like being done in phases. Um, six of Wands. I love this energy, and I love that you're really embodying the Six of Wands. Let's go into it. And then I think that's the last one um, that I'm going to clarify. Six of Wands. Six of King of Swords. Queen of Swords. Wow, that's so amazing how tarot works sometimes. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse with the King of Swords. Um... This is something that it makes total sense. It makes so much sense, Gemini. Uh, the King of Swords, when the King of Swords is ready to make a decision and make a movement, take a movement, make a decision, King of Swords also works with the judgment energy really well. Gemini, this is your strong masculine energy. And there's something here that is makes so much sense to you. It doesn't need to be talked about. It doesn't need to be fought for. It doesn't need to be advocated for. There's nothing for the Queen of Swords to do. It's something that makes so much sense. Um, 
It's so easy. It's, it's, and, and I make these readings dramatic, Gemini, but it could be just something quite small this week that comes in that just is it, some sort of solution that is just beautiful and it helps you be able to start thinking down the road a little bit more. Okay. Uh, I am going to move to the extended now. In the extended, we'll move this forward four to six weeks into the future to see how this continues to go. I will also pull love cards for Gemini, and I will pull money cards as well, and we'll look to see how those two parts of life are going to move forward as well. All right, my friends, thank you for being here. It's a pleasure to read for you, Gemini. Every time I get into your energy, it's a surprise and fun to fun to look at. So thank you very much, and I wish you guys all the best um, as as the next week moves forward. Thank you.